great thinker Ross Braun has done it again. Let's go straight to Sipang and talk to Ross. Here he is with James Allen. OK, I know you've got to go to the podium. I'll keep it quick. Okay. Ross, some very smart moves today. First of all, the minute cue, though, for the drivers here. You must have been having, had your heart in your mouth. Well, it was my fault. I, I, with all the confusion of cars falling off, I called Michael first and Ruben second. So we had Michael's tyres. Uh, so I screwed up. Um, the only thing we could do then is make sure we got the right tyres on the right car, because then we, you know, we would have had a big problem if we didn't. Uh, but the intermediates was a good choice, and, and we recovered. Do you, do you think that's what won the race for you today? Yeah, for sure. And then, of course, did you switch to from a one stop to a, from a two stop to a one stop after that? You seem to push it obviously on the fuel window quite a long time. Well, I'm not going to tell you that, James. Uh, we had a Go problem, on, Ross. We had a problem with Ruben's car because he picked up a lot of grass and started to overheat. That's why he had to make his uh, extra pit stop. Uh, but uh, I'll tell you when I retire. If you get nine lives, you've had one of them today, then haven't you? I have. Yes. Wet race. He started well this season. There's confirmation of about those successive wins. Six out of six for Michael Schumacher, but the only driver who has won all six starting from pole. Tony, tyre choice absolutely crucial today. Critical, but uh, also if they did check the weather at the airport for the last four out of five those years, it's rained on March the 18th, and I'm sure they would have checked on that and expected the monsoon to come in. But tyre choice was critical, and of course, so these Ferrari guys do everything together, front rows of the grid, and they go off together as well, and then finish one two together after. Look at this, what happened here. This is what they're talking about in the press conference. Panis had gone off there early, we suspected some oil on there, but w oil and water don't mix. There's the double red. Deep inside goes Schumacher, past him goes Rubens Barrichello, gets back onto the track first, and there's Schumacher just about struggling to get back on. Dropped down to 10th and 11th after the safety car came on. Conditions worsening. Villeneuve goes off backwards through the gravel trap, promptly followed by Nick Heidfeld in the Sauber. He's also beached and, and out of the race early on. And there's uh, Enrique Binaldi, the Brazilian, going off as well. So early casualties. And these guys got out of jail. Jarno Trulli, who led after this behind the safety car. And right behind him, you see him just coming off? There's David Coulthard, as he said. And they both got into the pits very quick. And then when the, when the Ferraris uh, went into the pits, I um, mean, Barrichello had over a minute stop didn't he? And we thought it must be up for the Ferraris. Well, it was shades of 99 in European Grand Prix. That was the same sort of thing. Dry, wet, dry, wet. Johnny Herbert won that one. You remember when he was cloud watching. But coming in, it looked like Bedlam because there's a queue. Look, right, out goes Barrichello and Michael Schumacher's got to queue up. Ross just gave us the answer to that as well. Apart from Schumacher choosing the intermediate tyres. You know, it's like where they, where they said afterwards in Italy, they put the big tyre in, in the town square. Yeah. So we found your tyre. Remember after it was lost by Irvine and he went down the order? And then very soon after the restart on the back of the safety car, we realised that Ferrari had actually got it absolutely right. Yes, uh, superb. And, you know, Ferrari went round. They got through on the intermediates. And, and, you know, Schumacher came all the way through and he was slicing through the field and comes through behind uh, Verstappen, behind Coulthard. Um, but, but the restart there, Coulthard got the jump on Frensen extremely well. But for mm. Stappen, for me, he was the driver of the race. Very unlucky not, not, not to make a point Very for, for unlucky. the Arrows. He went, from, he went from 18th to 6th on the start. It was yeah. unbelievable. Michael Schumacher, though, I mean, got past David Coulthard and he was away and gone. Another masterclass from him. Yeah, superb. But this is where we see the, the overtaking as well because he'd come up on Verstappen and got past him and then he was just eating in on those tyres onto David Coulthard. At that point we thought, you know, McLaren had got it right, they got onto the wets, they got it, their drivers into the pits early, as had Benetton. And there it was, the guy just scything through the field. Meteoric rise through the field for Michael Schumacher. First time Tony we've ever had a rain affected race in Malaysia, but cracking this is some sport when it rains, isn't it? That's it's great. I mean this was wonderful entertainment, superb driving from uh, 22 of the world's best and, and there's no question about it you know Schumacher again proved that he's the rain master mm, is he starting to look almost invincible now Schumacher or will things swing around well you've got to remember he had a 22 point lead with nine races gone into last year and then McLaren came back at them they had successive breakdowns what we've got to watch is when traction control is introduced from Spain that could change things around so what Ferrari are trying to do is in these early races get as many points stacked up as possible 
I've just heard that Ron Dennis is complaining, saying it was very, very dangerous for Ferrari to use those tyres. What's your instant reaction to that? Well, I think that the risk factor is down to the team concerned, uh, and it's down to you know the skill of the drivers. I didn't see any problem there for Michael Schumacher on Intermediates, did you? Not really. <laughs> OK, thank you very much indeed, Tony. Of course, we'll have more reaction to the Malaysian Grand Prix when we rerun the race, just about lunchtime today, 1.30. Highlight show just before midnight tonight, and uh, as always, the highlight show repeated, ITV2 tomorrow night at 7.00. What a fantastic Grand Prix. This has been well worth the early start. Ferrari and Michael Schumacher, the main players once again. It's a record then. Six wins out of six, all from pole and counting. Bye-bye. If you'd like to know more about Formula